I'm Patrick Bailey with iQlist.com. Today is July 23rd, 2018. And in this video, I'm going to design an M6 bolt and thread, bolt, no, bolt and nut in Fusion 360 and 3D print it out. And this is the first time I've ever designed, I've, I've only printed a few things that are threaded, but I've never designed and printed anything in Fusion 360 myself and printed it out. So this will be the first time I've done that. And I'm kind of excited. Okay, so having, not having done this, I would suggest probably a good idea to go look up what some other people are doing, which is what I did. Um, so I went actually and looked at this video, which seems to be a pretty good video. It covers a lot of things. So it is over here by uh, CNC Kitchen, and it's 3D printed threads, three ways to model them in Fusion 360. Now, I'm only going to do one way. I'm going to do the simple way that he showed. It seems pretty straightforward to me in Fusion 360 because all I really need is an M6 bolt. And the reason I'm doing that is I have this uh, Qi IQ, QI, Qi, however you pronounce it, wireless charger that is supposed to go into a desk, but I'm just trying to design something, um, a 3D print around it so I can make something around, make something to uh, put it in for my own purposes. And it does have an M6, M6 nut on the back. And so I think I want to design something to kind of customize it. So that's my reasoning. Plus, I have another, a bunch of other things I want to do. So once I can break through this and get something working, there's a lot of reasons to make threads and bolts, right? Um, it's just a real interesting idea. So he go watch his video. I'll put a link here. Uh, it looks really interesting. He's got a lot of things. And I'm only, but I'm going to keep it simple, only do the one thing. So first... Let me go, here I am in Fusion 360. And like I may have mentioned before in some of my videos, I have my Z axis up. And my Z axis up is, it helps it so I don't have to go modify the print after I convert it to a 3D object. And if you don't have your Z axis up, in Fusion 360, you can go over here on your name, go to your preferences, and here in your default model orientation, you can switch it to Z up and then hit apply or okay. Sometimes when you do that, you have to restart Fusion 360, but that's a nice setting to have, so you don't have to reorient things when you're done. So here I am, new file. I'm going to right-click on here and say new component, and I will say M6 bolt. So we'll start with a bolt. And again, this is my first time, so we'll see how well I do. So I'll turn the light bulb here on the origin. I'll right-click on this and say create a sketch. Because the first thing we want to do is create the uh, the cylinder. We create a cylinder and then we apply a thread to it. But as it turns out, you actually don't have to create the right correct size cylinder. Um, but I'll, I will in this first case. So I'll hit S to bring up my my tools, and I'll search for I think uh, no no circle C I R, and I'll see that center diameter circle. Choose that one, and I'll choose the center here, and I'll go out. Now, in this case, this M6 stands for six millimeter diameter, um, but I could make it different. But right now, I'll just do it that way. I'll say six, enter, enter, and then I'll push Q for my press pull tool, push on that, and I'll pull it up. And let's go, I don't know, 20 millimeter. So I go 20 millimeter, and I just have this cylinder. So now I want to, I can apply a thread to it. So I can hit my S again to bring my shortcuts up. And I can search for thread, and there's my thread tool. And it turns out this is really dead simple in Fusion 360 for um, threads that exist or have isometrics or different profiles or are defined. And so here I can see this isometric profile. I'll just choose this cylinder. It notices that it's six millimeter in diameter and gives me the, six mil the M6 times one option. Now from here, I can start start changing it and changing pitches and whatnot. So it, but I want to choose the most common. It's pretty smart. It chooses what you probably need. In this case, I need M6 by one, and that's what I have on this little, you know, little guy I just recently bought. And so I am. The default is good. Now if I wanted to change my mind, I can say no. I play, oh, I really want it to be three millimeters, and if I apply that, it actually will change the diameter for me. So you actually don't have to make this cylinder the correct size. Let me go back to six. Uh, now, one thing, if I say, okay, I got a problem here because what it does is actually, it's applying an image and I want it actually fully modeled. So I have to select this modeled option here, hit okay, and there I go. I've got my thread and I think I can print this out and it should be correct. Um, but now I need, a, I need a hex at the bottom. So let me go 
right click on this, create a sketch again, and we'll go down here and I'll hit S for my tools and I'll search for poly, I think. And then choose a circumscribed, circumscribed polygon. Select that, hit the center, pull it out, and then go right here along the edge just so it nicely lines up. And then what you probably need to do is don't enter the, the millimeters here. Uh, rather, rather than hit it there, just hit tab and say six-sided. Because I was fiddling with this earlier, at least in Fusion 360. So now it is a correct size, but the, I mean, the, the uh, six-sided shape, but it's not the, si the size you want per se. But had I set that seven millimeter, I would have had a defined size. But instead of defining the size there, I want to define the size there. Sorry, I pressed, let me do that again. Went a little too quick there. Let me undo that. So D for my dimension tool, select that line and then select this line and then pull this out. And so that seems like a, a bit of a big nut, but um, we're dealing with plastic. Maybe you want to kind of oversize that nut or, or not, because we don't want to crank down too much on these. I don't know. So I'll just enter 10 and see how that looks. It looks okay. I'll press Q for the press pull tool. I'll select that. Let me get an angle here. And I'll pull that up. Um, maybe I'll pull it up three. And hit OK. Oh, no, no. Oh, sorry. And let me retry that again. Q, press pull tool. And then pull it up three. But as you can see over here, it's on the cut operation. So let me change that to join. And there I've got a bolt. So now let me go click on make, select 3D print, select my bolt I just made. Uh, and you don't want to send it to a 3D print utility. So this looks okay. Hit okay. And then I will make a new folder in here and I will call it bolt test. Okay, bolt test, bolt test. And I'll call this M6 bolt. Say that off. Now I want a nut. So I'll right click on here and say new component. I'll hide the old one by clicking on the light bulb. Click on the origin. Right click on here, say create a sketch. Hit S to bring my tools up and search for poly again. And choose circumscribed, circumscribed polygon. Hit the center here and pull this out. Go along the edge there, hit tab, choose six and hit enter. And this will, well, let's do it 10 millimeters again. So hit the D button for dimensions. Choose that, choose that line, come down, enter 10, enter. So that'll be our bolt. Now we need a center. So let's go S, uh, search for circle. Choose circle of diameter, choose the center, go out, enter in six, and there we go. Now hit Q for the press pull tool, select that. So now we got a bolt looking thing and then pull it up. I don't know, we'll just pull it up three millimeters again and hit okay. So now we just need a thread. So hit S, search for thread select the thread and then click on the inside. And I think it should be smart enough to know that's the inside. And we've got the six millimeter and I'll say modeled. Oh, another thing here is this class. Sometimes you have a choice of class and that's kind of the tolerance. This one only has one choice. I think the bolt uh, had a couple of choices and the default, usually you're fine. So hit okay. And there we go. So we've got a bolt. So now I'll say make 3D print, choose this guy, hit OK. I said bolt, I meant, um, I meant nut. Okay, so M6 nut, there we go. Okay, and then one last thing, which he went over in his video in a lot more detail, but I think might be something I have to do in the future. I think, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this as is, and hopefully it just works with what I have. But I can I can see this being a problem with plat with uh, 3D printing. What happens if these tolerances or your tolerance options don't work? 
Well, it looks like from his video, there's an easy way to, to fix that. So press Q for the press pull tool. And then what you can do is you can probably first press on that side there and you can actually pull it in a little bit. So I could say negative, negative 0.05 and pulls it in. Uh, also, I could do Q press pull tool. Oh, so you're not going to show me how. Huh? Oh, I got to select that. There we go. Let me undo what I just did. Okay, let me go select my bold again. Sorry. There we go. Go to the front and I can select uh, Q for the press pull. Choose that surface right there and then pull it in just a little bit, right? Boom. That might help with your tolerance. Also, you can press Q and press one of these surfaces in and pull that in a little bit too. And that might help it. It'll, it'll make it more loosey-goosey and that might be enough to get you by. Uh, beyond that, I got to do more some more research. This is my first bolt, and I'm, I haven't printed anything big out, so I, I don't know. But those are some interesting tools to know how to know how to get the job done. Let me undo, undo, undo all that because I don't have to. There we go. Ooh, even undo that. All right. So there we go. I got my file. So let me go open up uh, this guy. There are some bolts I made earlier. Didn't print them though yet. So let me wipe those guys out and let me go drop, the, drop these in here if I can find them. Let's see, bolt test, there we go. So there's the bolts I just made. Let me go drop that guy in and drop that guy in. And let's see what we can do. So there they are. And I'm going to do 0.15 millimeter and then do solid 70% because I think it probably needs to be a little stronger maybe. And so I'm just going to go that route and then hit generate. And let's go print these out and see how well they do. Let's see, bolt test, there we go. Let's go print it out. Okay, print it out in about seven, what was it, 17 minutes, seven minutes? Nah, 17 minutes. Uh, and it went, see how well we can do it. Looks okay. So the first test is, are they compatible with each other? So let me see if I can get this, or how well it's going to film, but it's turning. It's not just popping off. So, Hey, it threads on itself. So cool. So that aspect works, that's a good thing. Now, how about I have a nut and a bolt here in metal. How well do they work? I haven't tried this yet. So here's an M6 bolt. Here's this guy I just printed. Oh, what's going on? Of course, now I gotta remember these are plastics. They're nowhere near as strong as the metal. So I gotta be careful about that. Um, so that works. And then my real goal and the back of here, this has its own little nut here. So I really want to see how well this works because I got some ideas on what I want to do with this. And, oh, look at that. Worked. So, cool. That is doing exactly what I wanted it to. So, there's a simple way how you can make bolts and nuts in Fusion 360. And there's going to be some, I'm, uh, I thought it would be a lot harder than this. I thought it would be a lot more difficult. I thought it would be a lot more lookups. But at least for this kind of bolt and nut, it seems to be pretty easy. So I'm looking forward to put using threading in some of my future designs. So hope that helps someone out there. And that's the end of this video. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we are doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.